Hello, welcome to Great Prime TV. One of the potent ways to pray is to pray the will of God. You see, the scripture says that most times we pray amiss because we don't pray the will of God. So how do we pray the will of God? Get your scriptures. What is God saying concerning your situation? Get what God is saying concerning your situation and pray it back to God. Get those words and pray it back to God. And so in this video, we bring you scriptural prayers that will bring potency to those your issues, those your challenges, those your problems, those your predicaments. Join us as we pray. As you welcome to one that without number, my time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. By the mercy of God, by the grace of God, my time has come. Amen. I believe God, your own time has come. Don't forget when we say my time has come, we are calling forth mercy. We are calling, we are beaconing of favor. I believe God with you by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the anointing and by the power that is resident in the word of God, you will not go down in life. The hand of God will be mighty upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see God beginning something new in your life. I see God beginning something outstanding in your life. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. We are still in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm praying for you. The prayer I'm praying for you is that you will get to know God in his fullness. You get to know God in his power. You get to know God in his might. You get to know God in his person. And I decree upon your life that anything called struggle, anything called battle, anything called limitation is out of your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No more battles. And I'm praying right now for you and for your loved ones, for your siblings, for your spouse, for everyone connected to you, everyone that wishes you well, that you hold there. I pray today that by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that struggle, that limitation, that hardship, that struggle, that limitation is over forever. It's 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 over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wonders without number is a prayer platform and an altar of wonders. We are primarily people are groomed in the art of praying and falling in love with the word of God. Falling in love with the word of God. There is power in the word of God. Our addiction on this platform is the word of God. It's not my word like fire, like hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Job said in Job 23 verse 12, I've esteemed the words of your mouth than my necessary food. I esteem your word than my necessary food. There's power in the word of God. Ecclesiastes 8 4, where the word of a king is, there is power. And no one can say, what doest thou? We believe in the efficacy and integrity of the word of God. Hebrews 1 3 says, You oppose all things by the word of his power. And today, as we stand in line with the word of God, everything you need from the Lord shall be given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, if you are watching by television, I want you to call somebody and tell them, One that's without number is on the air, and tell them, If there is a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Also, right now, I want you to touch the like button if you are watching online. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. That button there, just smash it and share the link. And also, if you are on Mixel Arrow, make sure you listen attentively. And if you are not with us on that app, on that platform, please join right now so you can hear the word of God on the go every day of your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The power of His might will make you mighty. The power of His might will make you mighty. The power of His might will make you mighty. We make your seed mighty. We make your spouse mighty. We make your company mighty. We make your interest mighty. Your career mighty. The power of His might will make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of His might will make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. I decree you shall be mighty on the land. You shall be mighty on the earth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do that. Touch the like button and begin to share the link and tell somebody if there is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. answer. And begin to pray. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. Even a jealous God. God is a consuming fire. He's a jealous God. So God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's zealousness, God's jealousy 
over you is revealed through fire. God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's revelation of himself, God's you know, jealousy and uh, 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 revelation of himself over his children's life is always through fire. When God wants to show that he lo especially loves a man as an assignment for that man, hear me now, it's very important. God communicates that through fire. Consuming fire. Not just a fire. The, uh, the fire as an assignment. That's what the Bible says, consuming. There is the refining fire. It is God. God, the fire of God, has several dimensions. It can come as a refining fire to purify his own. But there's a dimension of God which is called the consuming fire. It's also in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. It's the consuming fire. You see, the Lord our God is a consuming fire. What does that mean? This is the dimension of God that terminates. It, once this fire is released and unleashed, it is to consume, is to terminate, is to obliterate. Consuming fire, consume my battles. Consuming fire, consume my battles. Because only God can end your battles. Man cannot. Only God. Only God can end it. Only God. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. 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 Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. 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 Number one. Consume fire. Consume my battles. Again. 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 Consume fire. Consume my battles. Again, Consume my battles. Again. Consume me fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consume me fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consume me fire. Consume my battles. Take a look at the 
There's a woman that has been giving birth over and over, and it's always true. CS, you have, you have this still birth two times. That experience is over now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Safest of delivery, safest of delivery, safe delivery. If you are carrying a baby, safe delivery. That's what the Lord said. I should tell you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's somebody you, you made your hair. This is not brown, this is white. The attachments are white, made, plated backwards. Something happened in 1949. Your dad, your little dad, hit somebody on the head. The person was in pain and vowed that all his children, your dad was very young, that all his children will have problems in their head. So now you're in pain. Somebody hit him. He felt pain and pronounced a word on his children. To pay. That affliction on your head disappear, 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 disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Deuteronomy 129, 130, sorry. Deuteronomy 430, sorry, 4. When thou art in tribulation, all this shall come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou will turn to the Lord thy God and shall be in obedience to his voice. Lord, make me. Help me to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient and to obey your voice. Make me obedient and obey your voice. Help me to be obedient and obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to hold your voice. Help me and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can hear you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As, as I begin to, to pray. pray. Help me to be obedient to you. Help, help me to be obedient obey to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey, obey your voice. Somebody has a grown up, a protruded tumor on the right part of the ear. That tumor falls down now. Fall off! Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be ye. Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be obedient to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey your voice. Open your mouth and fire. I'm 
In the name of Jesus, Amen. consuming fire, consuming my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Consuming fire, consuming my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Consuming fire, consuming my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, may my battles come to an end. I receive grace to obey the voice of God. I receive grace to obey the voice of God. To obey the counsels of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Someone, the whole family. Ah, yeah, yeah. The whole family is going through things appearing on your face. These are not pimples and ratchets. It just changes your face color. Massive boys. It not just happening to you. It has happened to someone in your family before. Another person is not happening to you. I command this demonic deposit disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Karamana Sabadas. Mary. Amen. Amen. I hear God say, I should tell you. He's bringing you to the realm of fruitfulness and rest. Fruitfulness and rest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Fruitfulness and rest. That the counsel of the wicked over you is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I decree today, the Lord end your battles. The Lord frustrate the counsel of the wicked. The Lord, the Lord frustrate the counsel of the adversary. I release you into your rest, into your greatness, into your potential, into your inheritance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand where you are hurting. Si vous êtes malade, placez la main gauche où vous êtes I malade. I command sickness to go. Je commande la maladie de partir. I command disease to go. Que la maladie parte. Affliction to go. Les afflictions disparaissent. Pains to go. Les, les douleurs disparaissent. The affliction in your body. Les afflictions dans ton corps. Your bone. Tes os. Your, your tendons. Tes tendons. Your ligaments. Les ligaments. I command those sicknesses. Que ces maladies. I command those afflictions. Je commande à ces maladies. That is not of God in your body. Qui n'est pas de Dieu dans ton corps. I command it. Je te commande. Come out in the name of Jesus. Son Amen. De Jesus. There's somebody. Your name is Essence. E S S E N C A. The Lord is delivering you from a chronic disease, a terrible, debilitating condition. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen. There are things the Lord hates, but there are some that are abomination. But there is one he's very jealous about. It's called idolatry. You see, people do not understand. People think idolatry is bowing down to graven images. See, I don't worship idols. Idolatry is anything you put before God. Anything that contains the place of God in your life. Your phone, your handsets can become idols. Your husband can become an idol. Your children can become idols. Anything that reduces your service, your love for God is an idol. You are going to pray to the Lord in the name of Jesus. I reject idolatry. Money can become an idol. Clothes can become idols. Cars can become idols. Anything that takes the place of God is an idol. In Deuteronomy chapter 5, touch the like button and still share the link. In verse 7, thou shalt have none other gods before me. Anything that comes before God. 
that confirms the place of God is an idol. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, I reject idolatry. I reject the spirit of 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 idol. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it louder than that. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I reject. I reject the spirit of idolatry. The spirit of idolatry. I reject. I reject the spirit of idolatry. The spirit of idolatry. I reject. I reject the spirit of idolatry. The spirit of idolatry. Open your mouth and fire. Back in I'm 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that your mercy will overwhelm our lives. We ask for your mercy in all that we do, Lord. Show us mercy. We ask for mercy. Mercy. Your mercies are new every morning. Your compassions fail at not. We bask in your mercy. As your people, we cry for mercy. Mercy over our families. Mercy over our loved ones. Mercy over the assignments you have given to us, the talent, the gifts, and the abilities, the vocations, the ministry. Mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we ask that the spirit of idolatry will not be found around us. Nothing takes your place in our lives. Nothing comes close. Nothing compares with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. A journalist that was fired unjustly. I just saw you. You were fired unjustly. God is saying you'll be returned back to work with a promotion and an apology. I see somebody by the name of Flavia. Flavia. Not flavor. Not favor. Flavia. God is showing me there are spirits that have scripted an order and a pattern for your life. He says, you tell you that that pattern is shattered. You will now follow the counsel and the purposes of God for your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A woman is carrying an overdue pregnancy. Deliver your baby now like the Hebrew women. Deliver safely. Deliver safely. Deliver safely. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's somebody by the name Ben Roberts. Ben Roberts. The hand of the Lord is carrying you into the place of rest. A very high level of life. It's taking you beyond your peers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, pray for Emeka Benita. The Lord is sending you help. He said, tell her the delay is over. Receive speed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
your time has come in jesus name amen, amen. if you are sick in body put the left hand on the spot si vous êtes malade, placez votre main gauche là. and stretch your hand towards me et tendez l'autre main I moi. Curse Je maudis the devil of infirmity. Le diable d'infirmité. I curse it. Je maudis cela. I rebuke that affliction. Je réprimande cette affliction. I command it to go. Je commande que ça parte. From the crown of your head. De ta tête. To the sole of your feet. Jusqu'au pied. Be healed. Sois guéri. Be healed. Sois guéri. Be healed. Sois guéri. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord make you whole. Que le Seigneur t'a franchi. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Somebody say my time has come. My, my time, time has come. One more time. My time has come. One more time. My time has come. One more time. My time has come. Still in that scripture, Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day, which is today. Hey! Today or tonight, whatever time zone. Today, this moment, this instance. Shall come to pass in that day. Shall come to pass in this day. That his body shall be taken from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of his anointing. Now, the anointing. I've always said this: the anointing destroys anointing. The anointing destroys anointing things. Things that get you annoyed. Things that get you saddened. The assignment of the anointing is to destroy them. But there's something about the yoke. We all know animals. We all know about yokes. The yoke is for control. There are people, and you know, the neck is a very sensitive part of the body. Whatever holds your neck or controls your neck controls your life. Because the ability of the head to move is on the platform of the neck. There are people today who are controlled against their will. You want to move this way, but there's something moving you this way. It's a yoke. It's controlling you. You want to stop this, but there's something pulling you back to do it. It's controlling you. Romans 7, 14, 15, Paul said, The things I want to do are not the things I do. The things I don't want to do are the things I do. Why? Because sin dwells in my mother about this. There's a yoke of control. And there are many people who are crying. People are crying, say, Lord, this is not my life. Something is controlling me. Something is manipulating me. This is not my life. And you are crying. You are asking God for help. He said the yoke from off thy neck. Take the yoke from off my neck. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Take the yoke off from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. 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 And let it be destroyed by the anointing. Let it be destroyed by the anointing. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. Lord, take the yoke from off my life. Let it be destroyed by the anointing. 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 Let it be dest
addiction to pornography be shattered that addiction to substances drugs be shattered I declare the addiction be broken the hand of the Lord set you free the hand of the Lord somebody 18 years ago you went with your friend to a club and from that day you have been addicted something that just crawled into you right now that being that personality it's crawling out come out in the name of jesus amen. amen i just saw somebody who's addicted to eating insects you see insects flying you kill them you eat them you pick them on the floor you eat them life insects you chew them it's an addiction you have right now that devil that satanic strange evil desire intense demonic appetite out in the name of Jesus amen someone is wearing a jacket but an inner wear up to your neck it's totaled up to your neck and God is showing me you have a passport in your pocket you have been believing God to hear from a particular embassy where you applied for a visa it is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. That woman who has something on the roof of your house. You don't know what it is, but it's troubled you all this while. It dies now. It drops physically. The hand of the Lord set you free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord says I should pray for Tony. And Tony. And Tony. There's a case before you. But the Lord will go ahead of you and give you victory. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Olivia, 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 the Lord is wiping your tears and giving you balance. Forget about what has just happened to you. The Lord is aware and is giving you balance in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a pastor who has been giving threat where you worship. You've been giving a threat letter and um, they're threatening you to move. I just saw a building. A building God is giving you. You are weeping over what just happened, not knowing it's for your good. I just saw a big building in a very prime place. Heaven is bringing it to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. Si vous êtes malade, placez la main gauche. And stretch your right hand to me. Et la main I command sickness to go. Je que la maladie parte. I command disease to leave. Que la maladie parte. Be healed in your body. Sois guéri dans ton corps. Your bones. Dans tes os. Your tendons, dans tes tendons, your tissues, tissues, your ligaments, les ligaments your sinews, les sinus, be healed, soit guéri, be healed, soit guéri. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. And God grant your desire. Say, My time has come. My, my time, time has come. Did you know me 129? 130, sorry. Did you know me 430? Sorry. 4. When thou art in tribulation, all this shall come upon thee. Even in the latter days, if thou will turn to the Lord thy God and shall be in obedience to his voice. Lord, make me, help me to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient and to obey your voice. Make me obedient and obey your voice. Help me to be obedient and obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to hold your voice. Help me and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can hear you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As, as I begin to pray. Help me to be obedient to you. Help, help me to be obedient to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey your voice. Somebody has a grown up, a protruded tumor on the right part of the ear. That tumor falls down now. Fall off. Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be you. Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be obedient to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey your voice. Open your mouth and fire. I'm gonna go 
In the name of Jesus, Amen. consuming fire, consume my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Consume me fire, consume my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Consume me fire, consume my battles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, may my battles come to an end. I receive grace to obey the voice of God. I receive grace to obey the voice of God. To obey the counsels of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Someone, the whole family. Ah, yeah, yeah. The whole family is going through things appearing on your face. These are not pimples and ratchets. It just changes your face color. Massive boys. It not just happening to you. It has happened to someone in your family before. Another person is not happening to you. I command this demonic deposit disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Karamana Sabadas. Mary. Amen. Amen. I hear God say, I should tell you. He's bringing you to the realm of fruitfulness and rest. Fruitfulness and rest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fruitfulness and rest. That the counsel of the wicked over you is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I decree today, the Lord end your battles. The Lord frustrate the counsel of the wicked. The Lord, the Lord frustrate the counsel of the adversary. I release you into your rest, into your greatness, into your potential, into your inheritance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand where you are hurting. Si vous êtes malade, placez la main gauche où vous êtes I malade. I command sickness to go. Je commande la maladie de partir. I command disease to go. Que la maladie parte. Affliction to go. Les afflictions disparaissent. Pain to go. Les, les douleurs disparaissent. The affliction in your body. Les afflictions dans ton corps. Your bone. Tes os. Your, your tendons. Tes tendons. Your ligaments. Les ligaments. I command those sicknesses. Que ces maladies. I command those afflictions. Je commande à ces maladies. That is not of God in your body. Qui n'est pas de Dieu dans ton corps. I command it. Je te commande. Come out in the name of Jesus. Son Amen. De Jesus. There's somebody. Your name is Essence. E S S E N C A. The Lord is delivering you from a chronic disease, a terrible, debilitating condition. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is a season of power. It's a week of glory, week of honor, week of dominion and authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. Shout it louder. My time has come. Shout again. 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 My time has come. Welcome to one that's without number. My time has come. Amen. I believe God with you today as we pray. The heavens will open unto us and God will bless us. He will answer our prayers and give us a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One that without number is a prayer platform where people are groomed in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of God. And we pray. The major assignment we have is to raise people and teach them to pray. Which culminates in intimacy, proximity, closeness, intermingling with the Holy Spirit. People start trafficking in the realm of love. Love for God. And I have always said to you that the reason we love him is because he first loved us. That is where our, our, our platform of love rests on. Our, our love for God is premised on the fact that he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19, we love him because he first loved us. 1 John 3, verse 1, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we be called the sons of God. Romans 5, 8, he's saying that while we are yet sinners, God commended his love towards us. John 13, verse 1, he said, having loved his own that is in the world, he loved them unto the end. So he loves us, that is why we love him. 
We don't love him because we want anything. Our love for God is not transactional. Our love for God is not on the platform of our desires, the platform of our requests, the platform of our expectation. No. We love him because he first loves us. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. Even if our God does not deliver us, even if he takes, takes us through the fire, through the water, we still love him. We are not of them that draw back onto perdition. We love him. We love him regardless. Things are bad, we love him. Good times, we love him. We love him in all weather. We love him. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. A vision. I want you to call somebody and tell the person that one that's without number is on the air. If you're watching online, do something. Touch that like button now. Smash the button and begin to share the link. Share the link and share. Keep sharing until you share through. God's hand is going to be mighty on your life. It's going to touch you and it's going to help you. He will send his grace upon your life. So share it now. We need to raise up a people of prayer. There's something that will precede. I've always taught us that will precede the rapture. It's not tribulations. All of those at the end are signs of the end, not the end. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, I send the spirit of Elijah before your face. He said, and this shall be before the coming of the Lord. Meaning that the church is going to be raptured in power. It's not coming for a weakling church. It's not coming for a dead church. It's not coming for a lukewarm church. It will gear us into a revival. So prayer is what precedes this coming. There's a revival. And revival is only stemmed on the platform of prayer. You stir up revival by moving the people to pray. When people start praying, revival breaks forth. And that is why on this platform, you can say to yourself, Oh, since so I became a member of Wonders Without Number family, I see myself praying. I've seen people call and talk to me. Bishops, great men of God, orthodox priests, um, believers, business people, all kinds of people around the world as I travel. They say, Apostle, my prayer life is revived. I love God. Many of them, the way they work with God now is so astonishing, it's so outstanding. Because of wonders without number. What do we do? We pray. It's a platform where we pray and we get addicted to the word of God. We teach people how to pray and we take our prayers from the word of God. This week we are going to be going through the book of Deuteronomy. That some of the um, verses there and praying with them. We are going to be praying with Deuteronomy. We're starting today and we'll continue through the week by the Spirit of God. So, and somebody said Deuteronomy means dethrone your enemy. We are praying and we are believing God for great things to happen. There will be mighty harvest in our lives. Our desires will be met. Whatever is a battle, whatever stands as a contention, as a mountain, a restriction, a quarantine, has boxed you to a corner. In the name of Jesus, you are breaking free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are breaking free in the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of the Almighty will come on you. No matter what you expect, even the tiniest, the minutest of your pursuit, the minutest of your dreams shall be fulfilled because the Almighty is set to touch you. He's set to transform you. He's set to change your life. He's set to do a great thing in your life. He's set to make you an eternal excellency, a joy to many generations. In that name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It extends to your children, extends to your sibling, extends to your seed, extends to your spouse, extends to your career, extends to your profession, extends to your gifting, extends to your callings, extends to your abilities. In the name of Jesus, to your ministry, it extends and the hand of God comes upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 10. Verse 11, sorry. Deuteronomy 1 11. It says, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as he are and bless you as he had promised you. There is something called a thousand, a thousand times more. People only stop at a hundred percent. God, I want blessing of a hundred percent. But Deuteronomy 1 11 tells us that it's a God that gives you a thousand times. A thousand times. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. 
I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. What is your expectation? God wants to make it a thousand times more. So dare to dream, dare to expect, dare to believe, dare to pursue, dare to aspire. Is the God of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Write that down on your page, on your platform. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Number one. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Number two. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Shout again. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Yalla da 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 da
the anointing of a thousand times more. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hey. We bless your name. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I see gates open. Gates, 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 gates. Gates are open. Receive access, access. The restrictions are lifted. The restrictions are lifted. See God. Access. Move to the place of your rest. The place of your increase. The place of your rising. The place of prominence. The Lord said to tell you that this month end, this week, that's wrapping up the month of September, He said to tell you that prominence is coming. Something will happen that will bring prominence, eminence. Something will happen that will bring honor your way. Something will happen in your life that will bring value and dignity. Restored by the power of the Spirit. By the power of the Spirit. The dignity restored. Prominence restored. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. I receive it. Yes. I receive it. My miracles. Father, you give it. I receive. I receive it. Yes. I receive it. My miracles, Father, you give it, I receive, I receive it, yes, I receive it, my miracles, Father, you give it, I receive I receive it Yes I receive it My miracles Father you give it I receive Kalabashata A thousand times more I want to confess that throughout this week Every day Say, I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Deuteronomy 111. I receive the anointing of a thousand. Write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. Write it, write it. Everyone watching, write. Make it a written prophecy. The Bible, the word of God, is a written prophecy. This is a prophecy. Second Peter 1 9. We have a more sure 119. We have a more sure word of prophecy. More sure word of prophecy. It's a word of prophecy. So, what you should do, write it down now. I receive the anointing of a thousand times more. Everywhere you enter, say that. Anointing of a thousand times more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Verse 21. Behold the Lord thy God. Chapter 1 of Deuteronomy, 20, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 21. Behold the Lord thy God that set the land before thee. Go up and possess it. He has set it so you go but listen fear possess it as the lord the god of thy father has said unto thee fear not neither be discouraged fear not neither be discouraged henceforth no more discouragement i possess my land it doesn't matter what you are going through don't be discouraged. You are not permitted. You are not permitted to be discouraged. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Your land might be your home. Your land might be a house. Your land might be a job. Your land might be a career. Your land might be anything. A wedding, marriage. No more discouragement. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Henceforth. That spirit that makes you feel down. Time to pray. See, I've been praying. It's discouragement. Shake it off. Confess it. Declare it. No more. So that that spirit will break its hold from your life. 
henceforth no more discouragement i possess my land henceforth no more discouragement i possess my land henceforth no more discouragement i possess my land say my father my father my, my father, father my father shout it louder my, my father, father my father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as i begin to pray as i begin to pray henceforth henceforth no more discouragement no more discouragement i possess my land i possess my land henceforth 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 no more discouragement no more discouragement i possess my land i possess my land through your mouth and fire name we pray the anointing of a thousand times more rest upon you in the name of Jesus Amen. I decree no more discouragement arise go and possess your land go and possess your academics go and possess your marriage go and possess finances go and possess ministry go and possess that career I see a family where they, they, there was there's an issue of serpentine worship, snake worship, from your 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 family you come from, your, your your clan, and you see snakes. Anytime you're about to get to do something major in your life, you, the snake shows up his head. It dies today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mary, Ada, Ada, Mary. 
I now speak into your life at that marriage. Peace be still. Let the storm be over. God says, I should tell you there's restoration coming your way. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I see somebody by the name of Paul. Egele. Paul. Egele. Paul. Egele. You are a minister. You are a minister of God. The Lord says, I should tell you, He wants to amplify your voice. Altars have been fighting you from rising. But the Father says to tell you, He has taken care of it. He says, I should tell you that the struggle is over. And every minister of God can connect to this who is going through any form of struggle. It is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Someone is watching me in England. You have two sons. One of them is bedridden. The other is falling sick now. Just The other just feels sick. The both of them, the hand of God is making them whole and touching them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree upon your life, upon all that concerns you, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bless you with the blessings of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you're sick in body, put your left hand on the spot. Si vous êtes malade, placez votre main gauche là. Now to your bones, to your tissues, Et à tes os, your muscles, the muscles. Someone is having something like an acne on your face. God has cleared up that infirmity. Someone with a back pain connecting to your spinal cord and your waist. God is healing you now. Joint. Somebody having pains on the joints. You are healed. Someone called Charles. You have been sick. They, they can't detect what is wrong with you. Your name is Charles. God says you are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the crowns of your head to the Je sole of your, to the sole of your feet, be made whole. So guéri. From the crown of your head de ta tête, to the sole of your feet, jusqu'au plan de tes pieds, be made whole. So guéri. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As you welcome to one that without number, my time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. By the mercy of God, by the grace of God, my time has come. Amen. I believe God, your own time has come. Don't forget when we say my time has come, we are calling forth mercy. We are calling, we are beaconing of favor. I believe God with you by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the anointing and by the power that is resident in the word of God, you will not go down in life. The hand of God will be mighty upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see God beginning something new in your life. I see God beginning something outstanding in your life. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. We are still in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm praying for you. The prayer I'm praying for you is that you will get to know God in his fullness. You get to know God in his power. You get to know God in his might. You get to know God in his person. And I decree upon your life that anything called struggle, anything called battle, anything called limitation is out of your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No more battles. And I'm praying right now for you and for your loved ones, for your siblings, for your spouse, for everyone connected to you, everyone that wishes you well, that you hold there. I pray today that by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that struggle, that limitation, that hardship, that struggle, that limitation is over forever. It's 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 over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonders without number is a prayer platform and an altar of wonders. We are primarily people are groomed in the art of praying and falling in love with the word of God. Falling in love with the word of God. There is power in the word of God. Our addiction on this platform is the word of God. It's not my word like fire, like hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Job said in Job 23 verse 12, I've esteemed the words of your mouth than my necessary food. I esteem your word than my necessary food. There's power in the word of God. Ecclesiastes 8 4, where the word of a king is, there is power. And no one can say, what doest thou? We believe in the efficacy and integrity of the word of God. 
Hebrews 1 3 says, He upholds all things by the word of His power. And today, as we stand in line with the word of God, everything you need from the Lord shall be given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, if you are watching by television, I want you to call somebody and tell them, one that's without number is on the air, and tell them, if there is a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Also, right now, I want you to touch the like button if you are watching online. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. That button there, just smash it and share the link. And also, if you are on Mixel Arrow, make sure you listen attentively. And if you are not with us on that app, on that platform, please join right now. So you can hear the word of God on the go every day of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The power of his might will make you mighty. The power of his might will make you mighty. The power of his might will make you mighty. We make your seed mighty. We make your spouse mighty. We make your company mighty. We make your interest mighty. Your career mighty. The power of his might we make you mighty. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of his might we make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. I decree you shall be mighty on the land. You shall be mighty on the earth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do that. Touch the like button and begin to share the link and tell somebody if there is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. answer. And begin to pray. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. Even a jealous God. God is a consuming fire. He's a jealous God. So God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's zealousness, God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's revelation of himself, God's you know, jealousy and uh, 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 revelation of himself over his children's life is always through fire when God wants to show that he lo especially loves a man as an assignment for that man hear me now it's very important God communicates that through fire consuming fire not just a fire the, uh, the fire as an assignment that's what the Bible says consuming there is the refining fire it is God God the fire of God has several dimensions it can come as a refining fire to purify his own. But there's a dimension of God which is called the consuming fire. It's also in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. It's the consuming fire. You see the Lord our God is a consuming fire. What does that mean? This is the dimension of God that terminates. It, once this fire is released, and unleashed it is to consume is to terminate is to obliterate consuming fire consume my battles consuming fire consume my battles because only God can end your battles man cannot only God only God can end it only God consuming fire consume my battles 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 consuming fire consuming fire consume my battles 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 number one consume fire consume my battles again 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 consume fire consume my battles again
Consuming fire, consume my battles. Again. 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 Consuming fire, consume my battles.
There's a woman that has been giving birth over and over, and it's always true. CS, you have, you have this still birth two times. That experience is over now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Safest of delivery, safest of delivery, safe delivery. If you are carrying a baby, safe delivery. That's what the Lord said. I should tell you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's somebody you, you made your hair. This is not brown, this is white. The attachments are white, made, plated it backwards. Something happened in 1949. Your dad, your little dad, hit somebody on the head. The person was in pain and vowed that all his children, your dad was very young, that all his children will have problems in their head. So now you're in pain. Somebody hit him. He felt pain and pronounced a word on his children. To pay that affliction on your head disappear, 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 disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Welcome to Wonders Without Number. My time has come. Amen. I am super happy, excited, and thankful to God for what is doing in our lives. You see, God's hand is touching us today, and this is a season where your life will turn around. God will open up heaven to you and cause his blessing to flow in your life. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. If there is a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Wonders without number is a prayer platform where people are groomed, drilled, and tutored in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of God. The word of God is quick and powerful. Hebrews 4 12 sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit of the joints and marrows and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. I am believing God that as we pray 
in line with the word of God today, something great is going to happen in your life and it will be outstanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Call somebody if you are watching by television and tell them Wonders Without Number is on the air. They are watching on television TV. Tell them Wonders Without Number is on the air. And if they are, you know, watching online or you are watching online, touch the like button and share the link. Share till you share it through. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you. On the last week of the month, no matter what you've experienced in your life or throughout this year, put them behind you. This is what the Lord said I should tell you. Put them behind. This year has not come to an end. Don't panic. Don't give up on the year. Next week is going to be a new month. And you still have another month after that. You have another month. You still have after October. You have November. You have December. Even if it's December 30th, 31st, a miracle can still happen. Open up your heart to God. Don't zero in on life. Don't conclude on life. So no matter what you see, now what you're going to do, spend this next one with just thanking God. Exalting his name. For what he's going to do in your life. Thank him. Honor him. Thank him. Honor him. Thank him. Honor him. And just spend your life loving him. The Bible says in James 1, 2, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. For the trying of your faith worketh patience. Let patience have a perfect work in you that you'll be entire wanting nothing so no matter what it is at all thank him and love him he's awesome so touch the like button begin to share the link right now touch the like button and share the link make sure you share and share through it's a new season for you god is sending help your way thank him for all you've been through I love you, Jesus. So la ba da ba da, just worship him, worship him. Exalt his name. Da da ba da, samanda la ba da ba da. We worship him. Re da la ba da da ba, so para man de Christ, to celebrate the man to be. Belu sa pri da la man, so glad to see you, so glad to see you. Re so pradi man, so to see la rax da la man. Brano se to sabri ra la se to sta la rinda ba kan. La blex to la rages to la rabanda si to krasti la ba. Provos kabala yanta krasti la krasta. Belo sa krasti la la ba la ba si to krasta. Provos kabala yanta si la rista. Rogamanka si to la rabika. Provos kabala yanta si to kabala yanta. Brakis to la raki. In Jesus name. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. I repeat, if you are watching by television, tell someone to get seated now because it's time to pray. If you are watching by television, but if you are watching online, touch the like button and begin to share the link as we pray. And we are praying again from the book of Deuteronomy. We're going to believe God. To answer us speedily in Deuteronomy chapter 5 the Bible says in verse 10 it says and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments showing mercy oh Lord show me mercy mercy is one thing we can never stop asking for mercy 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 oh lord show me mercy oh lord show me mercy oh lord show me mercy look on me with your mercy oh lord show me mercy. write it on your platform write it everywhere write it oh lord show me mercy make sure you write it down oh lord show me mercy romans 9 15 and 16 i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy i will have compassion on whom i will have compassion when god was talking to david concerning solomon god was telling david the things that will happen in the time of solomon when solomon will be king in his reign god said in second samuel 7 15 i will not take mercy from him like i took from saul so what saul lacked was mercy saul was bankrupt of mercy so the difference between david and saul was mercy oh lord show me mercy oh lord show me mercy 
Oh Lord, show me mercy. 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 Number one. Oh Lord, show me mercy. Shout again. 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 Oh Lord. Da 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 da
I decree God show you mercy, mercy, mercy. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father. Is that child returns to thee? Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not employ in thee. All my sins, I now detest them. Never will I sin again. Jesus, love, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins, I now detest them. Never will I sin again. Jesus, love, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins, I now detest them. Never will I sin again. Mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As you welcome to one that without number, my time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. By the mercy of God, by the grace of God, my time has come. Amen. I believe God, your own time has come. Don't forget when we say my time has come, we are calling for the mercy. We are calling, we are beaconing of favor. I believe God with you by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the anointing and by the power that is resident in the word of God, you will not go down in life. The hand of God will be mighty upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see God beginning something new in your life. I see God beginning something outstanding in your life. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. We are still in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm praying for you. The prayer I'm praying for you is that you will get to know God in his fullness. You get to know God in his power. You get to know God in his might. You get to know God in his person. And I decree upon your life that anything called struggle, anything called battle, anything called limitation is out of your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No more battles. And I'm praying right now for you and for your loved ones, for your siblings, for your spouse, for everyone connected to you, everyone that wishes you well, that you hold there. I pray today that by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that struggle, that limitation, that hardship, that struggle, that limitation is over forever. It's 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 over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wonders without number is a prayer platform and an altar of wonders. We are primarily people are groomed in the art of praying and falling in love with the word of God. Falling in love with the word of God. There is power in the word of God. Our addiction on this platform is the word of God. It's not my word like fire, like hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Job said in Job 23 verse 12, I've esteemed the words of your mouth than my necessary food. I esteem your word than my necessary food. There's power in the word of God. Ecclesiastes 8 4, where the word of a king is, there is power. And no one can say, what doest thou? We believe in the efficacy and integrity of the word of God. Hebrews 1 3 say you oppose all things by the word of his power and today as we stand 
stand in line with the word of God, everything you need from the Lord shall be given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, if you are watching by television, I want you to call somebody and tell them, one that's without number is on the air, and tell them, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Also, right now, I want you to touch the like button if you are watching online. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. That button there, just smash it and share the link. And also, if you are on MixLR, make sure you listen attentively. And if you are not with us on that app, on that platform, please join right now so you can hear the word of God on the go every day of your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The power of His might will make you mighty. The power of His might will make you mighty. The power of His might will make you mighty. We make your seed mighty. We make your spouse mighty. We make your company mighty. We make your interest mighty. Your career mighty. The power of His might we make you mighty. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of His might we make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. We make you mighty. I decree you shall be mighty on the land. You shall be mighty on the earth in the name of Jesus Amen. do that touch the like button and begin to share the link and tell somebody if there is a man to pray there's there's a God to answer. Answer. and begin to pray Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 24 for the Lord thy God is a consuming fire even a jealous God God is a consuming fire is a jealous God so God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire God's zealousness, God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's jealousy over you is revealed through fire. God's revelation of himself, God's you know, jealousy and uh, 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 revelation of himself over his children's life is always through fire. When God wants to show that he lo especially loves a man as an assignment for that man, hear me now, it's very important. God communicates that through fire. Consuming fire. Not just a fire. The, the fire as an assignment. That's what the Bible says consuming. There is the refining fire. It is God. God, the fire of God has several dimensions. It can come as a refining fire to purify his own. But there's a dimension of God which is called the consuming fire. It's also in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. Is the consuming fire. You see, the Lord our God is a consuming fire. What does that mean? This is the dimension of God that terminates. It, once this fire is released and unleashed, it is to consume, is to terminate, is to obliterate. Consuming fire consume my battles. Consuming fire consume my battles because only God can end your battles man cannot only God only God can end it only God consuming fire consume my battles 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 consuming fire consuming fire consume my battles 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 number one consume fire consume my battles again 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 consume fire consume my 
battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Again. Consuming fire. Consume my battles. Yeah, I'm not 
has been giving birth over and over and it's always true cs you have you have this still birth two times that experience is over now in the name of jesus christ amen safest of delivery safest of delivery safe delivery if you are kind of baby safe delivery that's what the lord said i should tell you in the name of jesus amen there's somebody you you made your hair this is not brown this is white the attachments are white made plated backwards Something happened in 1949. Your dad, your late dad, hit somebody on the head. The person was in pain and vowed that all his children, your dad was very young, that all his children will have problems in their head. So now you're in pain. Somebody hit him. He felt pain and pronounced a word on his children. Today, that affliction on your head disappear, 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 disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Deuteronomy 129, 130, sorry. Deuteronomy 430, sorry, 4. When thou art in tribulation, all this shall come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou wilt turn to the Lord thy God and shall be in obedience to his voice. Lord, make me help me to obey your voice help me to be obedient and to obey your voice make me obedient and obey your voice help me to be obedient and obey your voice help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice help me to be obedient to you and to your voice help me to be obedient to you and to hold your voice help me and to obey your voice help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice help me to be obedient to you 
and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Help me to be obedient to you and to obey your voice. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I can hear you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be obedient to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey your your voice. Somebody has a grown up, a protruded tumor on the right part of the ear. That tumor falls down now. Fall off! Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be you. Help me to be obedient to you. Help me to be obedient to you. And to obey your voice. And to obey your voice. Put your mouth and fire. I'm not a 
Someone, the whole family. Ah, yeah, yeah. The whole family is going through things appearing on your face. These are not pimples and ratchets. It just changes your face color. Massive boys. It not just happening to you. It has happened to someone in your family before. Another person is not happening to you. I command this demonic deposit disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Karamana Sabadas. Mary Ame. 
amen. I hear God say, I should tell you, it's bringing you to the realm of fruitfulness and rest. Fruitfulness and rest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Fruitfulness and rest. That the counsel of the wicked over you is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. And I decree today, the Lord end your battles. The Lord frustrate the counsel of the wicked. The Lord, the Lord frustrate the counsel of the adversary. I release you into your rest, into your greatness, into your potential, into your inheritance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand where you are hurting. Si vous êtes malade, placez la main gauche où vous êtes I malade. I command sickness to go. Je commande la maladie de partir. I command disease to go. Que la maladie parte. Affliction to go. Les afflictions disparaissent. Pain to go. Les, les douleurs disparaissent. The affliction in your body. Les afflictions dans ton corps. Your bone. Tes os. Your, your tendons. Tes tendons. Your ligaments. Tes ligaments. I command those sicknesses. Que ces maladies. I command those afflictions. Je commande à ces maladies. That is not of God in your body. Qui n'est pas de Dieu dans ton corps. I command it. Je te commande. Come out in the name of Jesus. Son, Amen. De Jesus. There's somebody. Your name is Essence. E S S E N C A. The Lord is delivering you from a chronic disease, a terrible, debilitating condition. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us in prayer. See you next time.